but but really, who who can who can uh, take something uh, that that a more emotive person you know might might need to, to kind of trigger this this kind of ideological rekindling? So what was that something that that you just instantaneously yeah. knew I have to write music about this, or did it come to you? Or that's an awesome question, actually, man. So I all like since since a young age I. I'm, I'm a very, always been a very spiritual person, Sorry, and I, I got a very clear message um, from the creator when I was 17 that what I was supposed to do with with this music that I was that I was making as a, as a child that when I became a man this is I was supposed to do something meaningful with it to make to make the world better to bring about some positive change, but when I got this message I didn't have any context for it it was all just imagery and and and, and pointing in a direction. It wasn't until and this was in 1997 this happened. Um, it wasn't until 2006 that that message took form, and I was searching for that message for a long time, and, yeah. and it, it was it, it was spreading love around, like you know the Beatles, all this love. So I wrote a lot of love songs, and just and just trying to you know lift people up in that way. I was also writing philosophically spiritual songs too, not like you know praise music by any means. That's not what it is. It's just coming from a good spiritual place, right. and I'm putting good spiritual energy out through the through the songs of my my early records. But then 2006 shows up the end of 2006 and pendulum just hit me like a ton of bricks and it was uncanny all these mysterious things started happening right after I wrote it I was scared to play it I didn't want people to hear it because I didn't completely understand it if I'm being honest it, so, it's always very interesting to see people start to step outside of that comfort zone like I don't know I think I'm on to something here I'm gonna go throw it out there and we'll see what happens you know? yeah but you have to have the courage to sure. see where that road leads and so I played it at, for for the sold out show in Annapolis, Maryland, the Rams had, uh, a couple weeks after I wrote it. And I had to, I was I was like terrified. I almost had an anxiety attack before I I sang the song. But I got a standing ovation for that song, and that told me that these people know what the hell I'm talking about. But I didn't know what I was talking about. And so, like Bob Dylan says, you have to know your song well before you start singing. So I dove head first. I was like, this this is like the Circle of Life Mufasa moment, you know. On stage, I see these people. They're all like. Yes! And I said, okay, you've given me a message, now i got to go figure out what it's all about. And so I dove head first into it. I had my purpose. And I, I, you know, I watched every Alex Jones film there was, and I read books, and I, and I, I saw lots of documentaries, and, 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 and read a lot, and talked to a lot of people. I got involved with Restore the Republic, Gary Franchi. He got me into play at the Revolution March in D.C. And I saw 15,000 people show up to hear some congressman I'd never heard of speak. And that showed me that th this is the direction you're right. heading in. Well, not only that, but I, I know that uh, all of us go through this time where it's like, does anybody even know about this stuff? We feel kind of alone, and you know, and, and um, you know, to kind of wrap wrap a, a lot of this up here because uh, sadly enough, I, I got other guests that we've lined up sure, and everything. Sure. But if, we'll, we'll have time to hang out. But um, that that. Uh, you do feel like alone, or you feel like, am I the only one? Like, and you're telling friends and family, and they're not getting it, and they're not, you know, coming along, and that all of a sudden becomes like one of the most important things in your entire life in order to get that message out. And people aren't biting on it, and it's like, I'm just selling freedom here. Like, I just want you to be free. Sometimes and you can't you give it away. Free. Right, and that's insane to, to, to think about. But um, Well, that's why music is an important tool, because music has a non a universal, way a universal to, term to, to it. To get in there, you know? And I always oh, use yeah. the analogy of water getting inside of a rock and splitting it open. Music can do the same thing. Absolutely. It can inside the soul, and then the message splits the rock open. It frees people awesome. from mental slavery. Yeah, and... and um, you know, of all the people that we um, talk to, and, and you know, yeah, I'm a huge mu music buff as well. But uh, I, I think, like above anybody else that we talk to or friends with, um, in the in this movement on the musical standpoint, that uh, your not not to take anything away from anybody else, but your music is for me a lot more universal. I feel you know, it it, it, it crosses a lot of different boundaries, and it's. Um, you know, it's not too extreme on one end or the other, but it's coming from a place of uh, passion and, and uh, intellect, and, and it's just great. We can't wait to hear you. Tomorrow. Well, if you if you think I'm not too extreme, you need to come to the show tomorrow. Oh, dude, we will. <laughs> and you know, well, I, I want to set you up. I know you want to do a lot of new songs tomorrow night, but uh, you know you'll be heckled to, to play the the greatest hits. So we'll we'll save those for the end. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Encore. <laughs> Encore. Free bird, I mean, uh, you know, whatever. 100 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, oh, oh. 
<laughs> Mr. Rockstar hanging out with us. All right, hey, Jordan, we'll let you get on. I know uh, you're making the rounds and everybody's hanging Thanks, out, having a good time, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk soon, all right? This was great, thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks so much for joining uh, us. Can you just turn that mic off? Just click it off. Yeah. You can just set it up there on the table, all right. Oh, man. And it's